everybody, and welcome to The Balancing Act. We're going to have some fun today. I'm Julie Moran. And I'm Olga Villaverde. Speaking of fun, today, Ralph on the road. Love Ralph. He's headed to Boca Raton, and he's going to be creating noodle-licious recipes. I like that, noodle-licious. Have yeah? you said that? I yes. Like it. And plus, diabetic shoes that provide comfort and style for any occasion. These are great. And lots of colors to show you. Plus, how hormones can affect weight loss and what you can do about it. All that and more, and The Balancing Act starts right now. Stay with us. now for our favorite chef. He is our favorite chef and he is on the road again heading to posh Boca Raton. Chef Roth is showing off his nudes again. <laughs> <laughs> Water, water everywhere, but not a drop to drink, not in Boca Raton. We're surrounded by water everywhere you look. The Gulf Stream touches Boca Raton closer than it touches anywhere else in the United States of America, making this beach the most banging of all the beaches. No yolks is what I'm going to be working with today. So versatile, and it goes with just about everything. Hey, this is the canine ambassador of the resort. Oh, fantastic. He's here to officially welcome you to the Boca Raton Resort and Club along with myself. I love everything about this. God is my co-pilot and now I got a pooch. That's awesome. <laughs> but John, good to see you, good man. Thank you, you so well. much. Uh, we're going to take a stroll around the town. You tell me what's going on around Absolutely. here. Absolutely. Well, it all starts here. This opened in 1926, February 6th. And February 6th. Addison Meisner's grand dream of building this Mediterranean village and that's where we are today. Welcome to Meisner Park. Let me show you around. Come on, let's do a little walk and talk, baby. John, this is Meisner Park, and this is absolutely amazing. Tell me all about it. Addison Meisner was a true inspiration and visionary between the Mediterranean Moorish Gothic architecture of Palm Beach County and Boca Raton. When he envisioned Boca Raton back in the 1920s, he envisioned it to be one of the world's greatest destinations. And that came through all the things we think about today, and that is art, food, fantasy, and architecture. And Meisner Park epitomizes everything fabulous about that. I tell you what, I'm gonna have a little fantasy right now. My fantasy is that we take a little bit of that Spanish architecture, shake it up in the airstream and come up with something that's delicious to eat. What do you think Sounds about fantastic. that? Sounds fantastic. Let's go get him, Tigers. This airstream is amazing and it's great to be on the road with Ralph. Uh, let me bring you in. This is exciting. Come on in there, have a seat on the right. Thank you, sir. And I will uh, get to work over here on the left side and show you with the mastery and the wizardry of the airstream. All right. First things first, no yolks is what I'm going to be working with today. So I'm making romesco sauce, right? It's one of my favorite wow. Spanish sauces. It's so versatile, and it goes with just about everything. All my ingredients are right here. I've got great Spanish olive oil. I'm going to pour it into my pan that's already hot. And then I'm going to toast up some of my ingredients. So first things first, no Spanish meal is correct without some garlic frying up. I've got these great Spanish almonds. So I'm going to coax a lot of flavor out of it from the oil and the almond and the flavor. And now, great Spanish paprika. All right, so this is ready to go. On this side, I've already got peppers that I've roasted. I'm gonna put these in my food processor. I peeled them all up already, de-seeded them, got them all ready to go. To that, I add a little bit of toasted bread, right? It's great, it's gonna grab onto those noodles, fantastic. That's amazing. To that, I add a little fresh parsley. Now, let's get over here with the game winner. I've got the garlic, the almonds, and the olive oil, and that's all been toasted and entering the dragon as we speak, and that, looks and smells phenomenal. To this, of course, we need a little salt. And then Spanish sherry vinegar, right? Oh, wow. All right, we're gonna set it up. We're gonna give it a little pulse action going on right now. What's the right texture you're looking for in that? I want it to be like sauce consistency, but a little chunky, right? I like to have a little bit more to it, right? You can always thin it out as you go. It's a feel-good sauce. All right. Wow, look at that. Let me get it ready for service. So. I take my bowl, and I've got my already cooked extra broad, no yolks noodles here. I'm gonna toss it in my bowl. I'm gonna add a little bit more olive oil. Looks incredible. This is pretty good. That aroma is ridiculous. You're gonna dig this. Toss it around. Couple of scoops of my romesco sauce in here. They get all the flavors married together. All the noodles get dressed. Into my bowl I go. Ba -ba -ba. Perfect. Uh-huh. Wow. Stay right here. Now on top. Some more of this beautiful, luxurious sauce. Look at this right here. I'm gonna show you this one. Incredible. Get right here. 
Dude, you're going to be so happy right now. I'm excited looking at it. I can't wait to try it. It's going to be great. Some of the toasted almonds on top. Sangria action going on. Beautiful. Some Spanish wine, some Florida fruits. Let me bring this on over to you. All right, John. This is amazing. This is what it's all about. This is my interpretation of Boca Raton right now. So let's get ourselves ready with some hardware. This is an incredible Mediterranean experience. Wow, the aroma is just ridiculous. I'm glad you dig it, man. And this is great. You got a little of that bread and those olives right there. This is what it's all about. Dude, I got to say, well, let's first off, toast. Thank you so much for touring me around and uh, giving me another look at the city that I call home. And uh, you, my friend, are a proper guy, and I really appreciate Ralph, it. Ralph, thank you. It's great to have you in Boca Raton and great to be here with you. Yeah, thank awesome. You. Thanks for this incredible, unbelievable meal. Nice. Ooh, it's got better already. Got a little taste, and then let's have at it. Ralph, you put together such an incredible meal for me. I thought one of the things we like to do at the resort is kind of what we say surprise and delight our guests and members with these one-of-a-kind memorable experiences. So I said, what can I do for Ralph? I wanted to bring dessert. And it's our play through our pastry artist, Stephen Day, want to reinterpret oh, you your noodles, or what we call no yolks noodles, and brought together a special pastry dessert on our artist pastry. This was inspired by no yolk pasta. What is going on here? This is amazing. Yeah. The world. Well, let's clear a spot for you. Let me tell you something. Okay. I, uh, I can always be reached by sugar. Let's turn mm -hmm. this around. Wow, look at this jam. Cheers, chef. Cheers to that. Cheers Thank to you, well, chef. Stephen. Thank it's a pleasure. You. Pleasure. Listen, this has been fantastic. Thank you, Chef Stephen Day and John Tobit. I am Ralph Pagano. It's time that we take this show on the road. Back to you in the Get studio. Down. combine health with a fashionable twist for the nearly 30 million Americans who have diabetes finding diabetic footwear that protects feet provides comfort and is stylish enough to wear for any occasion has really been a challenge so joining us today to share a great solution is Brian Lane director of education at Dr. Comfort welcome thank you nice I love you. the name Dr. Comfort yes that is fantastic now they have to be comfortable right uh, not to mention comfortable and stylish, stylish. look at these yes. these are Julie love this color uh, Love that color. Of Brian. course, my sidekick is over there to show all the fabulous footwear you have. Before we see all those, sure. I want to talk uh, a little bit about just um, why therapeutic footwear is so important for people with diabetes. So therapeutic shoes have specific qualities to benefit. First of all, patients with diabetes will tend to have neuropathy. Neuropathy is lack of protective yes. sensation. They can't feel their feet a lot of That's times. That's awful. Yeah. They suffer a lot. It's painful. It's burning, numbness, tingling sensations they potentially have with their feet. So these shoes have have features that could benefit them uh, through the, the proper depth and everything about the footwear. Tell me what sets this apart. What sets them apart is really about the extra depth toe box. These also come in full and half sizes and three widths to be able to accommodate different size feet. Let's talk about technology. First of all, really lightweight, I noticed, and uh, good padding here. Yeah, so the lightweight feature really helps to reduce daily fatigue. And then when we talk about padding, that's really going to be where the comfort comes in. From the padded heel that helps to reduce irritation, to the padded tongue to help prevent friction, to the lightweight construction design, the protective toe box, and even the non-skid long-wearing outsole that we have as well. The outsole can help to increase traction for the person wearing the shoes. We want it uh, to be comfortable uh, and stylish at the same time. All right, well, I think uh, without further ado, Julie, you've Come got a lot over, to- Brian. I am actually gonna put this on because well, I wanna I see for that myself. Color of course, on you. of course. Brian, that is a Look really great looking shoe. And you know, looking at these shoes, I would never know they're diabetic footwear. That's so great. It, it is, and that's what we're trying to do. The best we can, we want these to be appealing because yes. if they're appealing, people will be more likely to wear them. The shoes, as you can see what Olga's wearing, is, a, is one of our newest styles. It's our athletic shoe called the, uh, the Ladies Grace shoe. In addition, we've got a men's style called the Gordon. Again, dual dens density outsole, nice padded tongue, nice supportive counter, and it even has just a shank piece inside the shoe to assist during walking. So wow. all these great benefits with the shoe. Cool, and I love, like this shoe, I was noticing, has a closure. It right. does. In fact, all the shoes will have a, a, some form of closure just to secure on the person's foot. You know what I love? The broad range of styles. Well, I mean, look at you, mine. This is fantastic. I mean, it's great. Aren't they cute? I would wear those. I would wear them too. And and you have on these, right? And, I do. Is, that's is, what I'm wearing. So the, and again, pardon the pun, but we have shoes for all walks of life. <laughs> <laughs> From the athletic to the dress shoes, and this is a Roger shoe here. This one is what we call our athleisure. So athleisure. a little bit athletic with the outsole, uh, a little bit more leisure look to the to the uppers of the shoe. This is cool. Yeah, the chucka. That's like a cool 
yeah. boot, you it's know? It's a chukka men's dress boot right. that we have. We have, again, ladies' styles just like this, and uh, all these styles uh, and much more. I've decided to wear the other one. Okay, <laughs> put that on. I mean, I've got now, heels on and I've got stickers on. to check out great styles, head to drcomfort.com, right? Not doctor. Yes. Or you can always head to our website, thebalancingact.com. Look how fast. Looks looks great great. You. Go jogging now. Go Ready. jogging, Here Olga. Go. You look great. I'm out. <laughs> I'm out the door. Gone. She's Here we gone. Go. She's out of the shot. <laughs>If you're struggling with your weight, maybe trying to lose weight or just trying to be healthier, you probably know there are a lot of factors that can affect getting the results you want. For example, did you know that our hormones play a major part in our ability to lose weight? And joining us today to help us learn more is Dr. Jeffrey Kotzen. He currently practices at the Kotzen Center for Women's Health. He's also an expert on hormones and insulin. Also joining us is the lovely Dawn Duty. Dawn is here today to share her own weight loss story. Welcome to both of you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. All right, doctor, let's talk first about hormones and how they really play a role in, uh, in women and, you know, and their weight issues. Absolutely. There is no doubt that the primary issue in weight loss has to do with hormones. There's all kinds of hormones. There's female hormones. There's the most important hormone, which would be insulin. And it's the insulin metabolism that changes everything on how glucose gets into the cells where they need to go. If they don't, that's how fat storage begins, and that's where it goes and becomes problematic for women gaining weight. And let's talk about then about the struggle just with women and all these diets that you hear about, all these fad diets, diet pills. I mean, I don't, we can name hundreds of them, and... None of them work. Oh, well, that's the problem. The problem, there are so many because none of them work. And I've been doing this for 40 years in my practice, and I can tell you, time and time again, they start off looking pretty good with a short course of something that is artificial, and then they fall back into the same roles all over again. And it's so frustrating. Now I'm going to bring you in, Dawn. Is that what happened to you? You know, I, I really was heavy for about 10 years, but it came on slowly, and I just kept adding and adding, and I would eat more at night. I had a very busy lifestyle. I'd come home from work. I'd have a glass of wine. I'd eat while I was making dinner, and I just put on way too much weight. And did you try diets, and you just went back to the square one? Yeah, because it was a diet, and you would, you know, it was some kind of fad, and you would try it, or it was caffeine-based, and it would make me too nervous, and I developed an anxiety disorder. It was awful. So, doctor, I'm sure you hear this all the time. I've heard it from people, too. So, what's the solution here? The solution is getting back to basics. And what's back to basics is having an appropriate diet along with an exercise program. And to supplement, like what Golo does, is to use a product that is a natural plant-based product that helps with insulin metabolism. It helps get rid of some of the anxieties that you have during the course of weight loss. It helps curb your hunger. It's a perfect product to add to what you're trying to show, which is that Golo is an entire lifestyle change that helps with this kind of product, as well as the increased exercise and appropriate planned eating during the course of your day. All right, I see here a Golo Smart Card, and I see how you break down the proteins, carbs, vegetables, fats, which is fantastic. It kind of walks you through what you should be eating. You also include a supplement. It's a release supplement. Explain to me then how these two work together and what is in the supplement, doctor? Okay, so this is Release. Release is a plant-based weight loss supplement designed to balance hormones and improve metabolic efficiency. There are no known side effects and it's safe to take with medications. Now this is the, the ultimate formulation of numerous attempts to come up with just the right amount of, of each different uh, ingredient so that you attack some of the things that you have to struggle through when you're trying to lose weight. Number one is the emotional aspects. Mm -hmm. You can get hungry, you can get frustrated, you can get anxious. Uh, if your blood sugar is bouncing all over, it can make you fatigued or it can make you very anxiety ridden. The other things in there help with, again, insulin metabolism, trying to get that glucose more efficiently out of your blood and into the cells where it belongs. All right, so I always say proof is in the pudding. We have some fabulous before and afters of you. Yeah. So I'm gonna show that to our viewers and oh my word, look at this. Is that really you? Yes. How much have you lost? I lost 75 pounds. I know, it was, it was amazing. It's a transformation. A year ago, I was a size 20 and now I am a size eight. And I just feel fabulous at 66. 
you know, people are, all my friends on Facebook are like, what did you do? How did you get that way? And I was part of a clinical trial, and so I took my release with each meal. I ate the healthy meals that they laid out, and I followed that plan, and I the weight just dropped off. I lost 75 pounds in eight months. That's, I mean, it changed your life, didn't it? It changed my life. You look so, I mean, you look beautiful no matter what, but you just look fabulous. Thanks. And besides that, she's incredibly joyful. I'll tell you, I spoke to this woman maybe a week or two ago for the first time, and what hit me right out of the box is how happy she is right now. That's fantastic. Doctor, for our viewers who'd like more information on GOLA, where do they go? Golo.com. Golo.com. That's G O L O.com. I'm looking at all the stuff, the smart card, the foods, the things about the change emotionally. It's almost like a mind body spirit, isn't it? Absolutely. Fantastic. It's back to basics. Take back to basics. I love that. And a lifestyle change, not a diet. Aww. I'm going to eat this way forever. You go, girl. You look fantastic. Thank you. All right. And for our viewers out there who'd like more information on Golo, very easy. You can go to Golo.com, as you heard, or just go to our website, thebalancingact.com. What is more expensive, a burial or cremation? Well, the answer may surprise you. People tend to think that a burial is always more expensive than a cremation. However, the services leading up to the cremation can cost the same or more than that of a burial. Cremation offers families unlimited options, like a full traditional service with the deceased present to a catered celebration of life. The family has the flexibility to plan a service that is unique to the life lived. Honey, Ralph and those noodles are making me so hungry. No, and I'm gonna eat them and then I'm gonna go jogging with my new shoes. I knew she, you know, Brian, I need a size 10. Uh, I love those. I knew you were gonna swipe those. I, he gave them I, to okay, me. Okay, they were a gift, they were a gift. Look, he gave me a shoe <laughs> for two as well. All right, remember to head to our Facebook page and our website, and don't forget to follow us on Twitter. Also, Instagram, at Julie and Olga. Always something fun there. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time. Thanks, so long. Brian. Here, you can have the shoe horn. <laughs> Thank you.